Hello everyone, this is Richard here from pushstart.co.uk This collector's edition unboxing has come quite a fair bit lighter than I would expect it to since uh, I had to import this item that had to come over from the States and then there's all sorts of mix-ups and that's all do elsewhere blah -de blah 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 but finally, at effing last, it turned up today so, great, I'm actually happy now it's, uh, it's only been here for about 10 minutes and I've not even broken any kind of seal yet so where's the knife and let's get unboxed in right this is the uh, the North American Batman Arkham Origins Collector's Edition as you can see and obviously it comes with some DLC the Nightfall pack which has got the Nightfall Batman skin classic TV series Batman skin and 5 challenge maps I have got a, I did do the European Collector's Edition unboxing for Arkham Origins when it was out of a week I've had to release. Now you can, you can be able to see that on my uploaded, uploaded videos on my YouTube accounts. But this one in particular, I mean, currency wise it worked out to be about the same price, give or take 10, 15 quid, whatever. Probably now I'm lying. About 20 quid difference, but the amount of content you get with this one in comparison to the European one is obscene, and this is definitely worth the extra bang for your buck. Right. What do we get? We get the Joker standee, which has flashy lights and whatnot, and the television, television screens behind him runs on batteries. So I can't sit, wait to see that in action. You get a, a Blu-ray, loads of like dossier documents on the assassins, as I mentioned the DLC, an art book, a map, posters, photos, everything you could almost want. Right, let's see if I can take the sleeve off without ripping it. Is it? Ah, yeah, there we are. That's why. Could have easier ripped it, man. Thankfully, I didn't. See, it's had a bit of a bash in. I'm a post over on my way over here. It's okay. There's a box. The inner box, I should say. Right, let's have a look, see what's in this bad boy. All printed material made in China. Oh, well, there you go. Right, that's what we got. <laughs> uh, a wanted Batman poster. Wanted masked vigilante criminal known as the Batman. And there's uh, the, the very minute known details of him. He's a bloke, six foot two, approximately 210, 210 pounds, and Caucasian. And he wears a pointy bat suit. Please contact Gotham City Police Department. Yeah, I think if you did that, Batman will likely kick your ass. So I wouldn't have always that one. Uh, it is a proto prototype blueprint on the bat wing. Uh, this must be. Yeah. This poster. I mean, I might upload some um, links and images later on, but I can't do it just yet because it's daylight. But you might just be able to see very, uh, some markings there. I mean, this is the map of Arkham City, and the inner markings, I can just feel, you can see those splats there, they glow up in the dark. So, shine a bright light on that, switch off the lights, and all loads of fancy locations such as hidden items and whatnot will all show up in here. So, I can't wait to see that. Yeah, so I'll take an image later on and I'll link it to this video so you can all have a butchers. And all that content so far, that does not come with European Plex edition. I think this does. I think this is the, uh, the dossier from Batman. Yeah. Assassin agreement, all the terms and conditions before you kill Batman. And all the... Hide assassins, hate to claim a bounty. So I, I won't take it. I mean, surely you probably know what's gone on by now if you're a fan of the game, but just in case. 
I won't show you any of the, uh, the assassins in there. Maybe one night, one kill. One night to kill the bat. Payment fifteen million dollars. Wonder how many of them are successfully going to climb in on that bounty. Right. Oh, can't wait to watch this. Necessary, necessary evil. Super villains of the DC Comics. With ultraviolet included as well. Sinistro, Lex Luthor, Catwoman. The Joker, Luthor, Catwoman, Doomsday, Bane. How long is that one for? Does it say? Oh, I can't see the feature length, but... No, 99 minutes. So that's good. Over an hour and a half. Definitely be watching that later. The standard edition game with a Night 4 pack included. This is the art book. This you do get with the uh, European one as well. Give you a quick flick through. See concept art for the characters, locations, weapons, gadgets, informations on the, uh, the creators of the game. Loads of interesting stuff in there. And what's this? It's the, the anarchist, is that it? Yeah? Anarchy. Yeah, the enemies of anarchy. I'm assuming you get a spray paint can and. And you can mark your own uh, anarchy logos across the city in which you live. And get arrested. For graffiti. That's cool. A photo of uh, Mr. Wayne. With his beloved dead parents. That's the same. Ah, crime scene evidence. Claw or a tooth, should I say? I'm a missing person. I'm sure we know it always of a comic universe may shoot me down, but I'm sure that could very well be for Killer Croc. Could be wrong, but I'm sure it was sat on here somewhere. This is crime lab evidence. And a poker chip. I think it Lacey Towers, so I've got an inkling to that's involved with. But as I think it may uh, reveal some plot details, I won't. Alright. Styrene. See if I can make minimal mess doing this. of it as well for walking town doesn't come with a steel book with a game I think it's a standard edition game so that's the only one thing it's uh, missing I reckon from this would have been nice but all the other content is great you do get a steel book with the European Collects Edition if anyone's interested in getting that one Oh yeah, man. I like that. 
I mean, th this is taken from the scene in the game. But I won't reveal too Right there, as a uh, contract poster, does show which I showed you earlier. One note to kill the bat, five hundred dollar, five fifty million dollar, sorry, reward bounty, and I believe that could be some fruit cake, which sums up Mr. Joker perfectly. And there's a suitcase full of cash. Something tells me that the Joker is after the bounty. <coughs> Subtle cough. Again, I won't try to, even though I'm sure the boy looking at this now anyway, and you can maybe come to some, some, kind of, some sort of speculation to what may or may not go on, but I suppose I could say this is a spoiler, but this edition was announced ages ago anyway, before the game was released, obviously, so. Most of you probably put two and two together before even playing the game anyway. Right, so I'll leave that for now. My unboxing video. I will record it, see if I can find some batteries and do a bit of, bit of editing and I'll add that to the end feature piece of this video. Okay, thank you and I'll see you in a bit. Right, hello and back again. I've found some uh, AAA batteries that this uh, statue in this Clex Edition needs. And let's switch on the lights. I mean, before I switch it on, excuse me, the room isn't as dark as what I'd like it to be, with it being in the middle of the day. But I'm sure you get the general gist, and on goes the Christmas lights. And there we go. Now, I apologise for poor quality of video, I'm doing the best that I can, but that, I mean, this video perhaps doesn't quite do it justice when you see it in person first hand. But again, without giving too much away, you could probably just make out many of the characters and the uh, some of the assassins that will feature in our. That concludes my video unboxing for the Collector's Edition, the North American version. Well, thank you and goodbye. I apologise for the extremely late video unboxing, and I'm sure the buzz is pretty much over by now. But hey, here it is, and I wish you all, wish you all a happy Christmas and a happy New Year. Thank you and a goodbye.